Today I'm going to show you two ways to find and fix a bad elevation. The first is going to be using the control click in 3D view and the next will be using the find elevation function. So, so far on this project all I've done is import the CAD file and then assigned the data lines to either the design or the existing surface. So right away we want to hop into a 3D view and take a look at what we're working with. Check for any mistakes that might have been made. So I'm just going to land us somewhere in the middle of the job. And oh, right away I can see we've got a contour over here that doesn't look very good. So I'm going to drive over closer to it. And then to figure out what's going on, if this might be a bad elevation, you hold down control on your keyboard and then click on the data line you want to select. So hold down control and click. And AgTech will bring up the overlay to show you where that line is. And then keep that, that same line highlighted when you go into edit mode. So now as I zoom in, I can see here's the line we're working with, should be a 6835. And oh, it's assigned as a 6853. Looks like just a simple typo that someone made. So no problem at all. I just right click my mouse, line editor, 6835. Oops, I made a typo. 6835, hit OK. And now that line is reassigned. And I can go back into a 3D view and make sure that that has cleaned up the mistake. Perfect. Now let's keep driving around the site and see if we can find any other bad spots. So we can go all the way over. Hmm, okay, looks like I've got something going on on top of this building pad, but they look like holes this time, not hills. So sometimes driving off to the edge, oh yeah, so I can look back and I can see these are big holes. Um, something way below the elevation of the project. So since that can be harder to click on, I'm going to show you how to fix that using find elevation. So if I go back to edit mode, um, without any line selected, we're just going to deselect everything by clicking somewhere in the blank space of your screen. You can go to the edit menu, the edit drop down, and choose this find elevation option. So I'm going to pick that. Now on this project, I know all the elevations are about 6,800 um, or higher. So I'm gonna say anything less than 6,800 is a mistake. So I'm gonna choose less than, hit okay, type that 6,800 in, and I'm gonna choose select all found. I'm gonna hit okay. It's a little hard to see, but AgTech highlights all the points that are below that 6800 elevation we set here. So I can see these two spots that are right in the middle of my pad, which already look suspicious, these two dots. So I'm just going to go ahead and annotate those. And now I can click on them and check, yep, they were just probably leftovers from the engineer. He had assigned them as zero and forgot to annotate them. So no problem, we annotate them here. Hop back into 3D view to take a look let it regenerate much better. There's a smooth pad for us. So I can hit the U key on my keyboard for up to kind of get that nice bird's eye view of my project. That's looking much cleaner.